Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. In this video, I'm going to show you how I recalibrate the shaper for this Garniga cutter, which I happened to overwrite the settings uh, when I was uh, using a new cutter. So let's get over to the shaper. Okay, so this is a 25 millimeter tall spacer. I'll just put that on the, on the spindle and then I'll install my cutter. And I'll put spacers. That's a 35 millimeter spacer. This is a 25 and another 25 and the um, cap. I better tighten the, put the spindle lock on. And you don't need to over tighten that. You just need it tight enough to where it's secure and the, and the cutter does not spin on the spindle. Okay, right now, based on the previous settings and, and how I overwrote the settings with another cutter, uh, down in one, of the, in one of the corners of the screen, you'll see how the fence is and how far it projects, which looks to be about roughly three quarters of an inch or so. 19, 18 millimeters, it doesn't really matter, but what I indicate here for my fence is minus 3.3. That means the fence, the machine thinks the fence is 3.3 millimeters outside the outer diameter of the cutter. So obviously I need to fix that. And for the top, this shows 57.4 millimeters to the top, and that would be to this spur cutter. So the first thing I like to do is adjust the height uh, setting of the, of the uh, cutter. And there's several ways you can do that. You can lower the spindle by hand and just use this to where you get that spur cutter right there, where that's flush with the table and where it's just barely touching. Now, I'm not going to do that on that. There's several measuring tools which could be used. Uh, this is an eye gauging. Uh, tool that doesn't have quite the stroke you need, but I could lower the uh, manually lower the uh, the cutter to get this flush and and use this indication. I could zero this to the table and then lower the cutter to where this uh, contact that spur. And uh, you may have seen that on some of my other videos, but I want to calibrate this referencing the bottom of the cutter. And I know I'm going to have to change it uh, because these radius knives are slightly above where that, uh, where that spur cutter is. And I always use this with the radius knives. So I'm going to be using this Garniga. Would, so I'm going to be using this Eigner distometer. And I like this for the shaper because it's got a lot of reach. I don't I don't believe they make this anymore, unfortunately, which is, it's a shame. I, I suspect the market pricing just got them. To so the first thing I'm going to do is, and I'm going to reference the bottom of the cutter. So I'm going to set this zero to uh, the, the height of the table. And then I'm going to come up under here. And this one, this foot on the bottom has a floating foot on it, which actually the amount of slop in this is the thickness of the foot. So that enables me to measure to the bottom of the spur. And this indication I'm getting says 6.41 millimeters uh, from the table to the, the uh, bottom of the spur. And I'm going to set the zero here. So I'll come to the screen, click set zero. I'm going to go for the shaper height, and this allows me to choose two shaper heights. If I was using the wood method, I would be using this, but I'm going to click that, and I'm going to reference from the bottom of the cutter, which is the way I normally set this up. So, actually, that's not too far off. So I, I want to set that, and I could either, if I was using the wood method, I would just click set zero and that would go to zero. 
and then I'd click save and move on. But because I've, I've got the actual measurement of the dimension, 6.4 millimeters, I'll just enter that in there and click save. Now when I go home, it shows that I'm at the bottom, 6.4 millimeters. If I change that to the top, that should be the, the height of the cutter, which should be 6.4 plus 50.4, which should be, I, I presume, 56.8 since that's what it says. But this also enables you to reference to the center of the cutter. Now that's not going to be a whole lot of use here, but uh, for adjustable groovers, that is, that is very nice uh, to actually be able to, to center that cut right in the middle of a piece of wood. So I'm going to reference the bottom. So now my calibration, once I hit save on that, that is stored for this cutter. Now what I need to do is reference from the, uh, reference the fence position. Now I could use this distometer uh, indicator uh, and just reference it off the fence to the outside cutter, zero it to the fence and then cut it. And one of the, one of the things I found out is that when you make this setup, you'll want the, the fence tightened down. You don't want it loose. You'll get close, but I found that it changes ever so slightly by maybe a tenth of a millimeter when I tighten those handles down. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a piece of wood. So now my, <clears throat> my fence position is obviously for a very deep cut on this cutter. So I need to move that fence out. And the way I'll do that is I'm just going to go to the set zero. So let's go to set the zero on the fence position. Now, I, if I use that measurement device, I could, I could just take the measurement and enter it here like we did on the height. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the, a different method. And what I need to do is I'm going to go to hand mode. So I'll click hand. And I'm going to position it. Went, went the wrong direction. And what I'm doing is just moving this fence out. I'm pressing this button. This is the course adjust, and I'll get that close. And once I got that, then I'm going to go to the fine adjust mode, and that'll go in tenth of a millimeter increments, which is the thickness of a sheet of paper. And all I'm doing is using a piece of oak that is straight, and I'm just going to look to where that, where that that outer cutting uh, cutting knife Let's go a little bit further and I'm just doing this by feel And I'm just getting just ever so slight movement with the fence tightened down, which is about what I want. That means I'll just go slightly deeper. And I'm going to use that value as my zero value. So I'm going to do here is just set zero, save. And when I go back to my home screen, my fin this shows my fence position is set at six or zero millimeters, which is what I've had in the height. This is 6.4 above the table. So what I want to do now is go take that and I want to lower the cutter. And I'm going to do a, a check, a verification. And I know I'm going to have to adjust that value because that radius knife is just slightly above that, um, that spur knife. 
And according to the Garniga catalog, looks like about 0.5 millimeters. So I'm going to drop that below the table by 0.5 millimeter. And the way to do that is 0.5 and then change sign and enter. And then I will lower the cutter head by 0.5 millimeters. And then I'll make a test cut. So th I think it about wraps it up for this video. I'll have some segments at the end that show the test cut and, uh, and setting the uh, reset and the zero if necessary. And I'm sure it will be. Uh, but I uh, appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one.